Hello everyone. You are welcome. My name is Safrizin. I want to be taking you on a presentation on how to add a, a coping on the window. Alright, so if I open this 3D view, you will see this. This one. We'll be doing something of this kind. Okay. So, straight away we want to start and we'll be doing this for this window. We'll be using that for the lesson, okay? Actually, I just uh, concluded this uh, simple structure and then I'm trying to uh, add a copy into it as uh, requested uh, by the client, all right? So, a uh, straight away for us to do that, we will navigate to the uh, to the south elevation by double-clicking on the south elevation in the project browser and you have this. Right, so this is the sad elevation of the project or the front. Okay, we want to go straight away to the uh, to the component, and then we'll be considering model in place. I will scroll down to generic model like that. You pick that, then click on okay. All right, once that process is done, we will set plane for, for us to do that. You click on the set plane. And you select pick plane and click on OK. After which you can be able to align, you can see the plane where the window sits. The wall is, uh, the, the, the plane of the window is highlighted. You click on that to set that to be our working plane. So you go straight away to uh, sweep because we will be considering sweep. After picking that, you go to sketch part and then we pick line. We zoom closely to this window. We want to start from this point to sketch the parts of the copying. Pick that point. Pick this other point and all the way to this point. After which you deselect the command. Click on finished. Alright, so once you click on finish, you go straight away to edit profile. So the program is asking you which level do you want to stay and edit this program. So I want to be at the DPC level of this uh, structure. So I will click on open view as I have selected DPC. So here is the DPC level. So we want to uh, start to uh, model the uh, the coping. Okay, so we pick from this point. I want to go this way 100 uh, and 50. I want the coping uh, surface to be 150 so i go that way 150 you can see so i want the coping to shoot out 100 mm all right so i will just click make sure i type 100 mm click on enter to have that i go this way i will now have to design how the surface of the coping is going to be so i will come this way and i'll have 50 uh 50 mm and enter have that okay and I'll go down and then I'll have that 35 mm. Go this way. Still up 35. Downward 35. This way 35 as well. And then come down here. Get it 15 and then 30. Then I finally close that. You can see. So after which I will be having a, I'll be having a, a line here, but to avoid that, I just need this coping to have a, a something like a form of a hack. Yeah. So for me to do that, I will pick this hack. I'll pick this point. Pick that point. And then bring the hack just like this. I click that. After which, I select the command. Select this particular line. I will delete that line. I will use trim to trim this. Right. So I will have something of this kind. Okay, so if I want to still have an hack here, I can pick this point or I'll use this, pick these two lines to have a hack there, okay? Just like this, so I will be okay by this, uh, by this design of the copy, just like this. At this point, if I still want to have an hack, I can pick that, pick this point and this point, so I can have something like this, yeah, alright, so... This is how my coping is going to be as the surface of the coping. Alright. So, 
having done this successfully i can now click on finished and finished edit mode as i finally finish this so once the process of finishing is done if you come to this side you have this type of thing here you can see it there meaning the coping has been generated and sweep all over the parts that we have uh, actually uh sketch okay so you go back to the 3d to look at it you notice that we have something like this so this is what we are having as the copy here yeah. you zoom it closely so we are having something like this this is nice all right this is exactly what we expected okay so uh the next thing we want to be doing now is uh, the window sitting coping that will be under underneath the one we just created so for us to do that also we'll go to the south elevation and we will also go straight away to architectural tab components and then model in place you will navigate also to generic model click on that and then okay uh we want to still set plan all right let's be sure of uh, the plan we are working with all right so click on set plan so you pick plan click on okay and then you'll be able to select the wall in which you want the coping to run on so you select that just like that you pick the sweep to after which you click on the sketch part in the work plan uh panel and you'll be able to sketch this all right so I want to pick from this point and um, up to that point, just like that. I want to be extending this. If I wish, I can extend it beyond this uh, existing coping that we have made. Maybe I can extend it 50 mm. All right. So for me to do that extension, I can just uh, click on the offset tool and then uh, okay, I'll pick on line. First, I'll have a line here, just like that. Escape that. Have another line here. Escape that, then you pick on the offset tools. Okay, the offset provision you have it 50 mm, just like that. And then you click if 60 mm will be too small, you can make it 100 mm. You click that point, also click this point. After which, uh, you deselect the command, and then you can use a uh, trim to trim that point. All right, after which. You select the command as well, pick that point, hold the control, click, select the rest of this single lines and delete them. Alright, so we are not having this only. Alright, so now we want to start uh, to model the shape of this uh, uh, coping. Okay, for us to do that, click on finish first, which will now take you to sweep panel where you found edit profile. Click on that and it is asking you which direction do you want to stay and edit this uh, sweep I will say open the east elevations so I'll open view here to so take me to the east elevation just like this so from this east elevations I can now start uh, the modeling all right so uh, I want to just pick this point let's turn my hand to this place click there and then I will now the 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 other one i did is also in this direction so you can see the way it is yeah but we may not necessarily follow that i want to show you how you can do that uh, effectively so if you just come down you have a 50 yeah enter you have a 50 there yeah, enter then you can just uh, decide that uh, the 50 is uh is just that much okay so uh you just pick on that reduce this to uh, 30 just like that pick on the line again and let's go again you can have this to be um, 25 30 uh, 10 and then uh, you finally have another 10 and then you close this that point move your hand 
Oh, all right. So, you deselect that. Click on that particular line and then delete that line. Click on line again. This thing is uh, you can scratch them depending on what you want. Okay, depending on what you want actually. So we just escape that. And then what I want us to do is, uh, you, it is best for you to have a, a two line, do an offset of 100 and just like that so that you can know where you, you are going to end the the design okay so since we are having a 100 mm line here yeah we, we want the copying to be 100 uh okay 150 sorry we use 150 over there so we also want it to be 150 so the offset is supposed to be 150 and not 100 okay so you have it there to be 150 all right so you just select all of these ones and be able to delete them and so you pick line and continue from this point from this point you just go this way every 30 from this way uh pick that point pick there and then you'll be able to use trim to trim that so this is the pattern we want this copying to to take okay this is the pattern we want it to take you can use uh uh I use that uh, this arc to maybe form uh, something unique depending on what you actually wanted or you pick this one pick this line pick this other line to be able to get something like this all right so after you get that deselect the command pick on that line delete that line and then you can be able to make sure you trim these ones so that uh, they are well in place you can as well as the, do the same thing here okay to have uh, this All right you come to this place you do the same thing to have that uh, arc there so depending on the design you want as i, I said earlier just read the command to see that we are going by this design All right so for this place you can also do an arc here Alright, so after you must have uh, through with that, pick line and close this place from this point to where you start the sketch. Just like that. Alright, so after which you can also pick this point, click here, click here to have a kind of a design arc here. You pick this point and this point. Have a small arc in this place. You deselect the command, so you may be having something of this kind so this is our sketch so we are going by this sketch so if you are okay with your design you just click on this finished uh edit mode and then you finished again and finally you finish the outing so after you finished the copying has been created based on your design so you go to the 3d to look at it so you can see if you rotate it this way So this is the lesson of today. Here is the copying that I've successfully added using a sweep. Also, if you have any questions regarding this lesson, or you want to suggest a lesson, you can drop it in the comment section. Stay tuned for more advanced lesson. And if you are new or you are being on this channel and you have not subscribed, subscribe and stay tuned for I do lessons like this almost every week. Bye for now.